for me, being a hunter, I feel like comes with a great responsibility to the land. It's a way that I've found where I can connect to Mother Nature and a world that's simple, a world that's pretty easy. Building and doing everything on my own gives me full responsibility of the process. It allows me to take ownership. And that process is also something that I really enjoy. I approach this season the way I've approached probably, you know, the last five seasons hunting. I've focused on trying to find a mature bull, one that's lived eight years or more. An animal that would somehow define the effort I put into this. This year I knew that achieving that goal would be extremely difficult. It meant a change in, in how I hunted. This year there were commitments more important than hunting. 10 days before archery season opened, Katie and I welcomed our son West into the world. Every father dreams of having a son. And I'll never forget the moment when I first held West. This is my son. It was an amazing experience as, as a partner with Katie. It was an amazing experience to go through this process of building our family. I'm his father. This little guy, you know, is requiring all this time and this effort and I know, you know, in 10 days, archery season starts and people are expecting me to be hunting.
the main reason why I love Montana is because it's my home. I feel extremely lucky that my, my parents were brave enough to move out west. How my parents chose to experience this place is what provided that foundation for my life. I always believed that I would, I would also raise my family here. There was never anywhere else I wanted to live. The mountains are really my escape from everyday life. I think that that escape is really one of the fundamental reasons why I keep going back. The mountains and the wilderness allow me to completely clear my head of thoughts from the outside world and just focus on why I'm there. It's a way for me to recharge my body and my mind and, you know, have a great time while I'm doing it. I can remember being really young and having my dad, having my dad and my godfather give me that confidence to be the person that spotted animals for the first time. 
They gave me that feeling that I was doing something that was really good. And as I grew into hunting more, I started trying to challenge myself. And challenging myself meant pushing for animals that were harder to find, much harder to outsmart, like lucky if you even see. Now it's all about pushing myself. As I've gotten older and my skills have gotten better, I'm constantly looking on how to push those skills even further. Like, how do I kill the bull that can't be killed? How do I find the bull that's never been seen? There's a hundred things that have to go right to harvest an elk. Getting to number 90 can be easy. But getting from 90 to 100 can be extremely difficult. When you can see that bull moving through the timber and everything, everything really plays out perfectly. When all those things come together, it's a split second moment that goes very slowly. I found a great bull and I got close to him. When I'm at full draw, there's a clarity that comes over the entire situation. right there, immersed in that moment. When everything has gone right, you soak everything up. This year for me, that moment never came.
when it didn't happen for me with archery, I immediately started preparing to hunt with a rifle. My dad was my dad was a really good shot. He basically taught me that you're not going out there to shoot. You're going out there to become a marksman. I remember watching him and thinking about, I want to be like my dad. You know, I want to be as good as my dad and, you know, cherishing his rifles, like looking at his 270 and wishing that I had a gun like that. When I harvested my first antelope, when, to, to keep it safe, my dad gave me a, a 30-30 lever action gun and I'd never harvested an animal before. And we snuck up and my dad at the last moment like reaches over and he's like, here, use my gun. The way that I hunt, I have to cover a lot of miles to find, you know, these bulls, and those bulls are rare. I entered into a this season. It was a it was a whirlwind. It was unlike anything I'd experienced before. I'm I'm trying to hunt as hard as I have in years past when I have these huge commitments back at home and I'm not exactly positive how to deal with them. This fall was really different for me because I, I didn't have my main hunting partner. Katie's usually with me every step of the way. My wife is at home, you know, caring for our newborn baby. I'm I'm missing this, this, the growth of my son. I'm missing this, this moment in time that I'll never get back. Do I continue to hunt like this? Do I go after these, these personal goals that I have that may or may not be important to my family? I have to cover a lot more country. It's colder, it's not as easy to be out there, and it's harder. I wasn't focusing anymore. My mind would drift back to them all the time. I held on to that for a long time until I realized that that goal was becoming detrimental to the experiences I could be having at home. The memories that I always think about with hunting aren't the stories of the successful hunts where you got the bull you were searching for. It's always the ones that got away, the times when it wasn't perfect, where I really learned something. I don't even think I could list all the things I've learned from my dad. I grew up watching him, and everything he's done has helped shape the person that I am. He taught me how to hunt how to fish. He's just, he's just always been there for me. Katie would tell me about some of the first things that Wes was doing. I wasn't always there for all those moments. So I felt like I was, I was missing these little tiny pieces of, of Wes's life during this first year that I wanted to experience. I wanted to be there for those moments. I was just 
just a boy My father seemed a mountain then With a voice that could shake the sea My mother's ghost hung across his shoulders And he said she was still watching over me My brother was home just returned on army leave Told his stories with a distant stare It's crazy how life changes How your priorities can change so quickly There's things in life that are more important than hunting and for the past couple years, I don't think that I knew that. There was this moment that taught me that I needed to be better at being a father. I need to be better at being a husband. And hunting was something in my life that could wait. <laughs> 